The judge in this case, federal judge Tanya Walton Pratt, sentencing Jared Fogle to 188 months served concur uh, co concurrently on each count. That amounts to 15 and a half uh, uh, years in prison. That is more than the terms agreed to in the plea agreement. Again, 15 and a half years in prison for Jared Fogle, 188 months. Now, this comes in addition to what was agreed to in the plea agreement. Restitution paid to the victims, $1.4 million in restitution to the victims in this case. To break that down, that's about $100,000 paid to each of the 14 victims there. Now, Judge uh, uh, Walton Pratt did explain to Fogel uh, leading up to today's sentencing that she did have the uh, jurisdiction to sentence him to more than the terms in the plea agreement, saying that the sentence could be more than what the prosecutors and defense uh, were working out. And that is indeed what happened today, 188 months uh, to be served. And once that sentence was handed down, the judge also said that Fogel could not withdraw his plea, that the plea was already going to be uh, uh, set in stone there. This has been a long time coming as we watched how this has, has developed with uh, Jared Fogel starting out uh, as a subway pitchman uh, with his first commercial in the early 2000s and 2001 there and then we saw his uh, Jared Fogel Foundation uh, built a, and with his co-worker and his um, co-founder of it the person who ran that foundation Russell Taylor also oh facing God. charges uh, this midday now, Fogel's attorneys were seeking a minimum sentence of five years in prison, and the prosecution was looking for a maximum of 12 years in prison, uh, citing that also Jared Fogel had been carrying out part of the conditions and the terms of his plea agreement, and that includes uh, paying restitution to the victims. He had already paid out more than a million dollars in this. Uh, Julie Persley told us that there is 188 months to be served concurrently. Uh, that means they'll be served all at once. Let's catch up with her for an update now. Let's keep in mind this first count could have carried a maximum of 20 years behind bars. The second count, 30 years behind bars. But with the plea agreement, the defense was asking for at least, at least five years. The prosecution was asking for at least 12 and a half years. What we're learning is that Fogel was sentenced to more than 15 years in federal prison and that he will have to serve a minimum of 13 years before he can be paroled. He also must have a lifetime of supervised release and what we've learned today is the fact that he is going to be monitored he will have to undergo treatment and that he will also be subjected to polygraphs they also discussed the fact that he will not be allowed any unsupervised conduct with minors one of the things that came up was what about his children now they also did point out at no point in this investigation were they ever able to find any evidence that his kids were victimized. So the judge then agreed that, yes, if the family was in agreement that he could have unsupervised visitation with his children, but then also pointed out that by the time he gets out of prison, that his children will likely be of age. So again, we're gaining more information as this comes out. Rafael Sanchez is still in the courtroom, and Jordan Fisher is in there as well, and they are logging all this information on Twitter. We're trying to bring it to you as quickly as possible. So the big question now is what happens to Jared Fogel right after this? Will he directly go into custody or will he be coming out? So we're waiting to find out that information. As we get it, we will pass it along to you, Mark.